Hi there! I wanted to film this as a supplementary video review for my written review of these Mystery Ranch Zoid bags. These are organizer bags made by Mystery Ranch, and I've really enjoyed using them over the last year or so, and I thought while I'm out here in the field, I may as well kind of show them off here. So there's going to be a full review uh, that I wrote already that's going to be down below, but it's not live as of time of uh, recording this, but I wanted to go over some of the, the uh, details of these. So these Zoid bags are all the medium size, I've got three different colors here. They're made from a lightweight nylon that is water resistant. We have one of these rain resistant zippers, and then on the inside it's like vinyl lined. I've had these in light rain, of course I've not submerged them in water, but uh, they're pretty water resistant. And they're really, really just nice, convenient bags. This medium size only weighs about an ounce and a half for the bag itself, and you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I have two that I keep in my EDC bag, two that are in my range bag, and then one that's my floater. So for the EDC bag, I have my tool kit here, which has a lot of the things you'd expect to find in a tool kit. So tape, Leatherman, I've got some, my GPS, spare batteries, things like that. I have my boo-boo kit that I keep in the EDC bag. So nothing like crazy trauma related, but bandages, Neosporin, allergy meds. The black one here, uh, since it's harder to see inside of a bag, I call it the floater bag here. So today, this is working as a case for my Smith & Wesson Model 15 and my speed loaders here. And then for the last two orange ones, those are the ones that tend to stay in my range gear. This one here is full of 9mm and 22. And then the last one here is my range tool kit, which has stuff that you expect to find. Little cleaning kits, cleaning rods, spare Allen keys and Torx keys. I've got some Loctite in here and some gun lube. Things that you, you always need when you're out shooting. Generally speaking, these bags have been wonderful. I don't really have any gripes about them aside that they aren't US made, but a lot of the Mystery Ranch stuff comes into the price that it does because it's made overseas. These are made in Vietnam, but the quality is very good. The price point on these medium ones, I think is like 18 or 19 bucks. So they're pretty reasonable too. And so far I haven't managed to destroy one, even though I've put some kind of sharp things inside of these. For the EDC bag, the thing I really like is that they've got these pulls here, right? And these pulls are stitched pretty deep into the bags. I can just layer them inside of my EDC bag as such. And let's say I need the first aid kit. I can just yank it out by the strap, but I've yet to tear one of these or break one. And, you know, truth be told, um, uh, you know, they don't pay me anything to say this, but all the Mystery Ranch stuff I've used has been very high quality and I've yet to destroy it or tear it or rip it. I have stained some things because, well, I use it, but usually some water helps out with that. So check out the full review on these Zoid bags down below. I'd easily recommend them and for the price, you know, I, I want to get some more myself to help organize my truck. So thank you for watching and take care.